your testicles. Where's your testicles? <laughs> Each book vlog. I'm Kiara. And I'm John. John, have you heard of Artbox before? Definitely heard of Artbox. Yeah, so today we are at Eatbox. Eatbox. Yeah, and it's a food version of Artbox. Now we are at Downtown East and there are over 50 local and regional food brands. Mm. And then there's live music As and you can. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Shall we go check it out? Yeah, let's go. Okay, let's go. got was a burger from Club B. Yeah, so I heard that they're trying to do like uh, non-processed burgers, right? Yes. So that people know how it looks like and what it tastes like. So for this Tom Yum Prawn Burger, it costs $10. And then you say what, well, add $2 for a side of fries, right? Yes, correct. Yeah. For me, what I really appreciate in a good burger is they have to be more than just lettuce and tomatoes. And so like inside, they have a radish that is house-made. They use their own pickled radish. Oh. And the sauces are house made from the tata sauce, the tom yum sauce, all house made. Yeah, and there's a little bit more love. They actually toast the buns a little bit so it's crispy on the outside and kind of fluffy on the inside. Yeah. Okay, I feel you. Uh... Oh. The first flavor that came to me is that it's spicy. Mm. Yeah? So I can see where the tom yum inspiration is from, even though the fragrance from the tom yum is not exactly the strongest. Mm. You're expecting lemongrass. Yeah. You're expecting some kind of Thai taste, but I do taste the consistency of the shrimp. Yeah, I really like that for the shrimp patty. They didn't mince it up. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, yeah. Some are chopped, some are minced, so that's like a whole thing. So you got the crunch, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. got a bit yeah. of the crunch. Okay, I'm glad I got a glimpse of uh, what non processed burgers uh, taste and look like. <laughs> yeah, but I think the flavor for me is a little mild, a little meh. Nothing, nothing too special. If I'm eating a burger, I want like a good, robust beef burger. Exactly. Like leave the prawns for the tom yum soup. But it's really creative. Also, I think that the prawn patty could be more firm because it was like kind of falling apart right. as we fried. Which can be really messy, especially for an event. Yeah. And so besides serving burgers, they also serve this thing that melts. <laughs> yeah? Which well, is great the for the Singapore weather. <laughs> chendo! Yes, and this is like a bucket of chendo. It's not even a bowl anymore. So you can see a very distinct layer of red bean, the green jelly, and yeah. a whole bar of coconut milk. And like gula melaka? Oh yeah, yeah, gula melaka. Are you a fan of chendo? I am. Chendo or ice kacang? One, two, three. Ice Chendo. Kacang. Oh my god! <laughs> get off this high hammock! <laughs> you get out! Chendo okay. or ice kacang? Leave it in the comments below. Chendo! <laughs> I was expecting it to be a little sweet because I saw how much gula melaka they pour in. But it's not! Maybe because we let it melt for a while. When it comes to this kind of food fair kind of things, I was expecting things to be overly sweet, right? But I think this is okay. Mm. And uh, I'm very, very pleasantly surprised that I can still taste the red bean flavour. So the only gripe about this drink for me is that it doesn't have a handle. It's really big and flimsy, so I have to use two hands to hold. So it's like, when you're in an event, you want something to be like a little more convenient, sturdy right? yeah, convenient. and convenient. So I mean, get this if you're ready to like settle down to eat. The next one, what? I was like, oh my god, can we eat this first? What is this, Sio Ba? Yes, it's the Pao Er mixed platter and it costs $11. Il huh? <laughs> yeah, it this costs eleven dollars Yes. So what do we have inside the mixed platter? So you get Cha Siu, you get Sio Ba and you get a Sotong Yu Tiao. What they do is that they infuse the Sotong paste into the Yu Tiao and then deep fry it. Firstly, the chilli, right, looks like chicken rice chilli. Yeah, I'm already right. excited about that. Look at the layers, they are beautiful. Yo, but no need no talking, man. Mmm. Definitely got a crunch. Can you hear that? <laughs> first thing first is the chili, right? I was expecting garlic ginger kind in chicken, chicken rice. rice. But it's not, eh? What does mm. the chili taste like? I can't quite put my finger on it. But it's not bad, eh? I think it tastes like the XO chili sauce. The best chili sauce ever! Please, the best chili sauce is McDonald's garlic chili sauce. Ew, no! Ew, you! Ew, you! Leave it in the comments below. XO chili sauce or McDonald's chili sauce? XO chili sauce! <laughs> so for the char siu, right, they put a layer of dark sauce and minced garlic followed by red chili. Let's try. I'm a fan of this char siu. This is my biased opinion, but I'm just putting it out there. 
I don't like sasa that is too fatty. And I think this sasa right is not super dry. The meat is lean enough. It feels like you can make food pork out of this. I find mm. it's missing that honey glaze. Oh, ah, yeah. okay, okay. You don't need to order a platter like this. You can actually order them separately. So the crackling sioba is $10. Yes. Yeah, and the tasi on its own, right, is 9 I would say uh, if you know which kind you like, choose one or the other. Yeah, if you don't know, just get this one. Yeah. And all three comes with the yu tiao side. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. It's a good side dish. Yeah, it's like a Asian crouton combined with korokko. Yeah, the sotong flavour is a bit too little. But arguably, arguably, uh, this is the most addictive part of the platter for me. Yeah. I think overall, if you compare the prices, right, I would rather pay the $10 for the burger than 11 for two slabs of meat and yogurt. That's very true. If you all want something flavourful and small little bites, get this. Yeah. But don't worry, okay? So actually, eat book. <laughs> we just told ourselves not to say yeah. eat book. You know, in my head, I was thinking, it's eat box, eat box. If I don't have come out, eat book. Yeah, but you don't have to worry, okay? So eat box actually opens from 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. So you can chill the night away, yeah? So what do we have here? We got a rib eye cube from this shop called Fire. But it's spelled F-Y-R, okay? Please take note. It comes with a size of my favourite pasta. It's called gnocchi. In case you all never see how gnocchi look like before, like a very miniature bun. It is served with some laksa sauce. Yeah, it's called laksa Mont Blanc. Uh. Ooh, the beef has that very nice sear on the outside. And then in the middle, it's still a bit pinkish. It looks a little medium rare. It's like soaked in a pepper sauce, a mm. black pepper sauce. So the first flavour that comes out to me is the sauce. A little bit of a burn from the pepper. Yeah, but it actually complements the beef very well for me. For me, I think the cut of the beef is a bit too hard. Because there's still a lot of tendons inside, so yeah. it took me a while to chew. Mm. But flavour-wise, I think they seasoned it pretty well. Okay, yeah. so you really want to nicely coat it with the laksa sauce before you... Make sure it's glistening. Mm -mm. Bias opinion, it's fantastic just because it's yoki. Yeah, this one's a bit too powdery for me. So instead of chewy, it's a bit more sandy. Oh, yeah. okay. Maybe it's a little bit sandier because this is a potato base. Mm. The full cream milk really stood up too much for me. Oh. I think I would love it if there is a bit more of that laksa taste. Honestly, right, for something like this, that's $8? Mm. Yeah? I think it's more, it's pretty value for money. Eh. It's kind of in between the finger food and the eat food kind of food. <laughs> and now it's... <laughs> the real deal. Laksa, laksa OG. <laughs> the funny thing is that this laksa is from Malaysia. Really? <laughs> yeah, in their signboard, they say, oh, we travel all the way to the east for you guys. I've always trusted, right, Malaysia food more than Singapore food. Hey! Sorry, I'm a hater, <laughs> but you know what I mean. So I'm quite excited to see what Malaysia has to offer. This bowl of laksa is from this store called PGFN, which means Pandan Gardens Fishball Noodles. But ah. they also sell laksa. The first thing that you see is like many chunks of tau bo. Fish cake also. You know what, for me personally, right, I feel that laksa is not the most aesthetic dish, but right, it's amazing. Yeah, serving of ham is oh, really, yeah. really generous. I never drink properly, even to the back of my throat. This is delicious eh. While Kiara recovers, let me just put it out there that this soup is fantastic eh. I think it might be one of the better laksa soups I've had. Before we mix it in right, they actually gave us a huge dollop of sambal chilli. So if you can't take spice right, Don't do that, that. Yeah, yeah, skip that. Skip but it. I like that you can taste the coconut yes. milk. Huh? And honestly, even if they gave us a huge dollop of the sambal right, it's still not that spicy like. Okay, the difference between this laksa here and the regular laksas out there, I feel, is that the ones over here has lesser coconut taste and more of that ah, sambal taste. Okay, okay, I yeah. see what you mean. Uh. And what I really love about this is that it really tastes of like something a grandma would cook. Yeah, it's huge bowl, right? Yeah. It's $5 only. I think, right? Don't buy anything It's else. probably <laughs> the most value for money thing you can buy at Eatbox. Mm. Rumi, the poet's cup. Every cup you get, right? You get a fortune poem. poem. Let me read mine first. <coughs> One of the pages in a book might hold a drop of tear. So when you read, read with your heart. Okay, so it basically tell you when you read book, you uh, might have someone cry. So uh, read with your heart. Lah. So do you cry when you read books? If the book is too long, sometimes I cry. <laughs> 
got two drinks and each for five dollars for this really tall cup. We got the iced caramel cream, uh -huh, which, which is, is caffeine free, and the other one is an iced hazel malt. The flavors are all there, pretty sweet. Yeah, perfect kind of drink to end your meal. For the caramel one, it's great for people who love toffee. It's like a buttery drink. For the iced hazelnut malt, right? At first, I was expecting a more Horlicks taste, right? But it doesn't taste like Horlicks at all. It tastes more like watered down Nutella. And these two drinks, right? Even though it sounds really creamy and sugary, it's nothing like that. Oh? It's pretty light and like not overly sweet, which I appreciate in a drink. I would say for a cup this size, uh, for an event like this, I would pay for this. Same, same, yeah. same. What do we have here? We have some really fresh clam soup from Wawa. They even have a display, you know, with the water fountain. You know about this store? They don't use any pork or lard. So for this dish, right, they cook it with their signature garlic-flavoured seafood broth. Ah, I was going to say it smells a little garlicky. I can taste the sweetness and the saltiness of the ocean. Oh, that was pretty good. Eh? <laughs> I'm excited what? to try the soup. Atas clam water. Like in a good way, you know. It's going to sound disgusting when I say atas clam water, but yeah. it's really good. Then you can even taste the ginger, which is what oh, people yeah. usually use to like get rid of that fishy smell. So it really works in the soup. So tanghun is good at soaking up the soup. I'm expecting the tanghun to be really, really good. It holds its consistency, but by virtue of it being tanghun, it absorbs all the flavours, right? So it's very nice. I think this is like a really well-rounded dish. Eh? The seafood is good, and then there's tanghun and there is soup. It's not something you usually get in an event, but the flavour works for me. Eh? We have reached the next part of our uh, eat box food trail. I'm assume <laughs> it's San and Jer. San and Jer. Jer. So we got their cheese teas. So yeah. really interesting. Like, have you tried cheese tea, but with Thai milk tea exactly. and rose tea? Mine is four dollars. Yes, and mine's five. Thai milk tea is very very sweet, right? The cheese is adding a little bit of savory. Yeah. It's a little bit like salted caramel. I think my cheese rose tea tastes a lot like a level up bandung. This one is like a salty and cheesy bandong. It ah. sounds bad, it sounds bad, but it's actually really good. This is more refreshing than this one. Yeah. But I yeah. like this one because the flavour is stronger. I believe the first words that will come out from your mouth when you see something like this is night market. And yeah. what kind of night market? Shilin! <laughs> we have a Shilin chicken and Sotong. And guess what? This shop is also halal certified. When you look at seasoning, right, do you think they're spicy? I think it's spicy as heckles. Yeah, and you know what? Like Mala Siangko, right, they have different spice levels. So one is so so and one is extreme. You wanna guess? You know what? Jesus take the wheel. <laughs> I'm gonna let the universe decide if I'm gonna burn my tongue or not. Waiting for the extreme? Huh? <laughs> Mine is extreme, lah, not yours. <laughs> But it's not spicy eh. Mine is extremely tasty. If I want to say one thing about the spice levels, right? It's a lie. I think regardless of whatever spice level you choose, right? They're all nicely deep fried. The batter is delicious. Mm. And I think they do both the squid and the chicken really well. The cut of the chicken used is not breast meat. It's really juicy and sometimes you can even find like a layer of skin on top. For the sotong, this is $8. Yeah, and for your chicken? $6. I mean, it's a bit pricey, but if you compare it to the other stalls, the prices are okay. Yeah, it's all within that ballpark. Other than the sotong and the chicken, they also sell ice lollies. And it's probably like the cheapest thing you can get in this yeah. event. Mm. Lychee mojito. Mojito is my favourite cocktail. And you can see there's a piece of mint, which is important for a mojito. Yeah, it's like legit, okay? Yeah, and the best part is this is a mocktail. And it's so good for the weather. It and for mine, I got the Cookie Monster. From the name, right, you can probably tell that there's cookie inside. So they use Oreos. We sang down the bottom, so if you're getting this right, make sure you eat it fast. If not, all the cookies will like settle down below. It's milky and it's like chocolatey. It's like the best thing you can get in a dessert. This is so refreshing. All right. Woo! Finally, we're done. It's a beer. Yes, it's a beer. Tell us why. What's a beer for? Okay, so basically there's this thing called bacon bits inside D Marquis. Right. Which is why... Yeah, you can hear this background music around us, right? Okay. In Dimaki, they actually have uh, live performances. Yes. Yeah, and, and also a lot of photo opportunities. Yeah. Inside. yeah. You know what's my favourite part about it? What, what, what? It's air condition. Yes! You pay your fee, but you get a free beer. Okay, here we go now. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Ah, oh, this hammock! <laughs> ah, I'm falling! Leave me! Leave me! Leave you or leave, leave me. you? Okay, let's go.
Yeah, not done with my beer, but done with uh, eat box, I guess. Yeah, so what's your favourite food here? I like the shilling squid from uh, Crumbs and Craves. I think mine would be the fresh clam soup from Wawa. You get like soup, tang hoon, and really plump, juicy clam. Just so you know, if you're watching this video, okay, most probably you've missed the first weekend. Yes, but yeah. it's okay. There's still a second weekend happening from 18th to 20th of January. Come down between 3 pm to 11 pm to soak up the eat book. Yeah, the eat book, the eat, eat box. Eat box and Marcel. Eat book recommends eat box. That's what she meant to <laughs> say. Amen. Okay, thank you so much for watching this episode of Eat Book Vlogs. If you like this video, you can check out other videos over there. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye bye. bye. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man.